Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Studio One Professional version 4. I want to show you how to do a simple side chain that will help your kick drum come out in front of the bass um, before you even start EQing uh, the drums and the bass. You want to get this to work. So first I'm going to go here to browse and just look for something in the rock uh, section and look for drums okay that seems alright and then look here for bass try to pick an example that's really heavy okay just duplicate this Take a listen to this. Okay, the kick is pretty good, but it's not as crisp as it could possibly be. So I'm going to open up the mix panel and put a compressor on the bass. But before I do that, I just want to clean up this track. This is a mighty long name here. So I'll just call that bass and hold down shift and press enter so that it also names the clip. And next what I want to do is put a compressor on here. So I'll just type in comp because your it might not be showing in yours in the recent uh, plugins. And then over here in the compressor, it has a button here for side chain. I want to click that and also click on this stick pin. I'll show you why that's useful. Let's say you have the compressor here open and you also want to put an EQ. So I'll put the Pro EQ in there. So I can have both of these open at the same time and doing things. If this stick pin wasn't here, then what happens is every time that you open a plugin, it changes here. So don't want that to happen. So I'll just put that stick pin there. And now, um, now that there's a compressor on the bass, what I want to do is have the drum loop drive the compressor so that every time that kick drum happens that it will reduce the bass a little bit. So with the um, drum track selected, go up here, click the inspector button, and come down to sends, and go to side chains, and there's one here for the compressor and one for the EQ. So I'll just select the compressor and then start this track to play. So every time that the kick and the snare happens, the compressor is working a little bit. So let's take a listen what it sounds without it. You can also adjust the threshold to take even a little bit more bass out. ratio and try the other things here. So you're able to get that kick drum to drive the compressor and to lower the bass every time the kick happens. And now that that heavy lifting is pretty much out of the way, uh, you can go in and EQ your um, bass guitar, EQ the drums. Usually you're going to want to have just the kick on a track by itself so that uh, nothing else that's loud is causing the bass to compress. But in this particular example, it causes the bass to be compressed every time the kick and the snare happen, which uh, works okay. And uh, that helps start getting your foundation built, your rhythm section. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope this helps you, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care now. Bye-bye.